Good morning guys, it is Sunday. I am on my way to church this morning. Uh, it's going to be a fun day, long day, fun day, hopefully. Uh, well, I got work, but it's not too bad, one to five. Um, so church this morning, then we got to go to work, and then... <coughs> coffee wasn't part of that. I got choked. I'm my own spit. How does that even happen? Anywho, church, work, and then back to church, and then I have, to, I have a formal party to go to tonight. It's like kind of like a dance sort of thing. I think, I'm not really sure. I, I was just invited and told to come, so. <sighs> I got a match with her dress. I got a purple shirt back there. So I gotta be there at 8 tonight. Uh, it's supposed to last until 11 or something like that. So I'll probably be home about 12 and then I gotta get up and go to school in the morning. It's just gonna be a long day. Tomorrow's gonna be a long day as well. I hope I got enough gas to get down there to where I have to go. I really can't afford to put any gas in my car. So yeah, I hope I hope I make it until Tuesday. I just need to make it until Tuesday. Tuesday is the key day. I have a big goose egg in my banking account right now. So yeah, it's fun. So I'm just waiting on my paycheck. So I can put gas in my car. Because you don't go anywhere without gas, but I think after church I'm gonna go get some Chinese food. Um, I think that's the agenda. I think that'll work pretty well. Definitely so. Uh, but anyway, I've got a lot of changing to do today. A lot of changing. I'm wearing, uh, my work pants because I didn't want to change from jeans to work pants and then back to back to the slacks tonight which reminds me to tell you dad's bringing me slacks because the slacks I have are the 40s and dad's, dad said he would bring me a pair. I asked my stepdad if I could borrow a pair and he told me no. I'm like thanks a lot. So you know we have this we have a weird relationship. It's one of those uh, you keep your distance I kind of keep my distance type of things. I mean, we, 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 we like each other, we talk, but it's better off a lot of times if we don't talk. So it's one of those kind of things, but Dad's bringing me a pair of pants to wear to the thing tonight. Hopefully they work and just fit right. If not, I'm just going to kind of be screwed, just kind of kind of pushing my way through and just pulling a hold my pants up the entire time. Luckily, I've got a belt that I kind of rig it up to where it doesn't look like they're going to fall off at any time. So hopefully that's the case that they actually did and fit fit well. I'm gonna go to I think Salvation Army or some thrift shop or something. Just find me a pair of slacks. I need a pair of slacks. So we'll go see if I can't find me a pair down there somewhere. I just need a pair of dress slacks, like a pair of dress pants. Where ones that pair of pants that I can wear to, with a uh, pair of pants I can wear with. Uh, a, a suit coat as well as just with a shirt, something that looks good with both. And I don't want to go to JCPenney's and pay full retail because it's going to cost me like 40 bucks to get a pair of pants. I don't have 40 bucks. So thrift shops are good. Thrift shops are good because they know what you want, they know what you need, and they have what you need. So I probably go to the thrift shop and get me a pair. Well, there's change one of the day. I'm changing to my work shirt. I went to the China Kitchen, got me some lunch, and now I gotta go work this four hour shift. It is freaking cold. It's only 30 degrees. Ooh, SLR, Mercedes Benz. That's nice. It's a big V8, too. I don't know how you afford the gas. I can barely afford the gas in this, let alone a 6.2 liter V8. But anyway, <laughs> I got distracted. I gotta try to stay warm today. I'm gonna be outside all day trying to get buggies and whatnot. So hopefully we can stay warm. Uh, one of my friends messaged me on Facebook and asked me if I wanted to uh, trade him for a set of 24 inch rims that fit my car. I'm thinking about doing it. I've got some stuff I can trade for it. We'll see just how things go, but maybe 24 inch rims. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know how that they won't run well on this. They'll probably get bent or something, but you know, whatever. Here's my buddy. Anyway, it's work. Work. I have to go to work now. Hey guys, I know you probably can't see me, but I just got out of church. I am now in formal attire. 
I'm wearing a purple shirt, button up shirt, khakis, and a tie, which is not my normal apparel. If you know anything about me, I don't normally dress up, but I have, and I will continue to in the future when I have to. But I'm going to this formal event with uh, my friend Kayla. She asked me to go to with her at Tesselum College, uh, which is where I actually was actually going, which is actually where I was going to go to uh, to begin with. They didn't have a chemistry degree, and which, uh, which is what I was doing. So uh, I was actually going to do chemistry. So I was when I went to the when I went to Tuscaloosa, I just finally decided I wanted to do pre-med. I found out that their pre-med would only do biology, and I didn't want to do biology. So ETSU had offered a pre-med with chemistry. And then I finally decided, you know, I don't like chemistry and I don't want to sit through four years just to get into med school. So I decided to switch to financing once I got to ETSU. But I was actually going to go to test school, but it's like so much more expensive. So I decided, no, I got to pass this person or I'm not going to get any good gas mileage on the way down there. I can't do 40 to get good gas mileage. Hey guys, I'm down here finally. I am freezing if you can't tell by the camera shaking. But I was, I asked if I could wear the hat. I got the hat in here, but at least, at least I don't have to go without a hat because I'm bald <laughs> and it's cold so forget that so I'm gonna go on in here uh, hopefully have some fun hopefully hopefully it's just not a room full of nerds well I'd fit in there but hopefully not so let's go in here and see if we can't have some fun you Nathan keeps disappearing. like a head occasionally. Oh, 
all clean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no answer here. What was the question? I said, which one of your girlfriend's friends do you like best in a bikini? Oh. <laughs> 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 we all we all bleep through. Okay. Are we I can't the best. I know. Anyway. Dun, 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 house. Really She's the one, eyes. the only the one. Built like the the weirdest gift that I've ever That's all we have. I figured that's what it was. <laughs> but you know, all the way they were. <laughs> before before um, summer break. Since, you know, they were going to be. Oh, I know that. Not. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey guys, I am on my way home. Uh, just left, and all right now it is tw it's five after twelve, and I'm just now leaving. That party sucked. Like no lie, me and Caleb both said, you know that party really sucked. It was one of the worst parties we both either been either been to. Just absolutely terrible. But we left uh, we left about thirty minutes early and went to her roommate's room, or her room and her to meet her roommates. Me and her roommates are like soulmates. We just got along so well, all of her roommates. Why? Because they're all black and they called me the white Drake. Uh, apparently, I am the blackest person, bl blackest white person they've ever met in their life, which I'm kind of proud of. I always thought of myself that way, but now I finally know. I am the blackest white person I know. All right, so if, if you couldn't tell before, you can now. It's official. They said, they said I was black in a past life. So, I guess I fit in that category. It's probably why I don't get along with a lot of white people. I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's just something interesting. I thought from the night. But we sat around and listened to music. They, they said, they said that I had probably the the uh, the most black music collection that they'd ever heard from a white guy. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm one of those guys, I guess. I guess Trey would fit in there too, since Trey's a lot like me. But it's gonna be a long road home. I've got about 30 minutes till I get home. As soon as I get home, I'm going to bed, not uploading the vlog. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, so I have a little bit of time to upload two vlogs tomorrow. Plus tomorrow should be fun, nonetheless. But I hope you guys enjoyed the party, what, what we actually showed. The newlywed game uh, was all right. Me and Kayla cheated. <laughs> we, we cheated, she told me the answers. <laughs> But, you know, it's all in, well, she told me like two answers, not all the answers. She gave me hints. They weren't really the answers, not like, here's the answer, but she gave me think this, think that, and I was like, okay. So she kind of nudged me on, not really giving me the answers. But we actually, I, did, I was surprised that I actually knew all the answers that I did know that she didn't tell me. So it's pretty fun. That part was fun, but the, the the party was terribly awkward. It's it's one of those groups where you're just like nobody really meshes, and you're just sitting around just looking at each other. And nobody want and me, Stephen, the the sh little short kid, and uh, uh, Kayla, and the two other black guys, and the one black guy were the only guys that were dancing to those songs, which kind of kind of spiced up the party, I think, doing the Cupid Shuffle and the Wobble. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was fun. Well, guys, it's time for me to go to bed. It is 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to get some sleep. See you guys in the morning. Good night, guys. Peace out.